Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on finding a decimal multiplier. Now what a decimal multiplier is, is a way to represent either finding a percentage of amount or applying a percentage change by timesing by a particular value. So there's some number that we can times by which would find 35% of something, or there's some number we can times by to reduce something by 12%, or a number we can times by to increase something by 3%. So this number, this magic number that we can times by, is known as a decimal multiplier. So let's go through these. If you want to find 35% of an amount, well, if it's a percentage of amount you want to find, you just convert the percentage into a decimal. Now, we saw previously, to convert a percentage into a decimal, we just divide it by 100. So the decimal point is currently the end of the five here. And if we divide by 100, it moves the decimal point two places to the left. One, two. So it's just before the three. So we have 0.35 or 0 0.35. So therefore, if we times a number by 0.35, this decimal multiplied here, then that will find 35% of the amount. If, say, I times 500 by 0.35, that gives me 175, and that indeed is 35% of 500. How do we represent a reduction of 12% using a decimal multiplier? Well, if you either have an increase or a decrease, so this one, this one, and this one, then you always start at 100%. So start at 100%. So the value starts at 100%, and then you're reducing it by 12%, sorry, that should be a minus, so minus 12%, so it would drop to 88% of its value. So therefore, to reduce something by 12%, that's the equivalent of finding 88% of its value. That will reduce it by 12%. So we do the same as we did above, we convert that percentage into a decimal by dividing by 100, and 88% divided by 100 is 0.88. Well, the next one, the next one, how do we represent an increase of 30%? We start 100%, and if it increases by 30%, then it's 130%. So therefore, we want to find 130% of the value of this number. So we divide that by 100 again, and the decimal point moves two places. It's going to be between the 1 and the 3, 1 1.3. We don't need the 0 on the end. And finally, an increase of 3%, 100% plus just 3% is 103%. And if we divide that by 100, that gives us 1.03. That's a common mistake that students make. They think to represent an increase of 3%, you times by 1.3 rather than 1.03. So do consider the difference between these two questions and the two decimal multipliers. And in subsequent videos, we'll see how we can use decimal multipliers to find a percentage of amount or increase or decrease a value by some percentage.